Good morning. It is Tuesday. Tuesday, October the 1st. Okay, so now that it's October, we're in the 10th month, the 12th universal year, and the 13th universal month. Okay, so that's about... Hold on. <laughs> Let me read you the whole spiel that I have here in uh, the Newman and Libra report. Okay, so... 10 is about completion, moving forward with new beginnings. It's indicative of new growth or growth and something new. One stands for instant manifestation, laying of a foundation, expression, and identification. Okay, um, New projects and organization. Zero stands for holding space. Okay, Holding space for something new. It is the zero point of creation. A time when nothing yet exists, and you can weave the next story with your energy reserves. Libra, Libra season, your story. Thirteen is about transformation of power by sudden experiences or with sudden experiences because of sudden experiences. It's magic. Okay, physical, 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 physical manifestation of magic. It also represents stability and grounding, uh, work, staying calm, and attention to details. Ooh, that's three cards reversed. Oh, what the heck is that? <laughs> um, this month, we're going to be working on changing our personal promises to ourselves, creating new karmic contracts via new beginnings. Ooh, almost threw that off of there. Via new beginnings by the laying of stable foundations, and then you can finally feel like you're in control of your life. Okay, so three cards reversed. I'm gonna read the reverse because they came out one at a time, but these three came out together. So this is integration of information. Okay, first card, poverty. Poverty is about not being able to meet the basic needs. It's also about being so down and out, like, um, I want to say piss poor, but piss poor uh, sounds like somebody's got an attitude. I mean, not that you don't have an attitude, but poverty is just basically lacking. You just don't have it. Um, blood from a turnip kind of deal, kind of feeling. You may feel like you don't have anything. But in the, in the truth, in, in reality, you actually have quite a lot. Okay, so you may be realizing that you're not as poor as you originally thought. Okay, in fact, you're rich. You have people around you that love you, that are willing to stick their neck out for you. I mean, that's a treasure trove in itself. You got friends, family, neighbors, all people who occasionally check in on you, uh, who check on your well-being and just see if you're okay, you know. They could be just stopping in to say hi. <laughs> um, in this busy, busy time, Virgo season was really, really busy, so a lot of people may have had, may have had their hands full and were unable to devote time to their friends. But in Libra season, this is about contracts, promises, relationships, partnerships, diplomacy. Okay, so some of you may be realizing Maybe you gotta go give your friends some love. Okay, you have more than you think you have. Yeah, look at that, 37, okay? Partnerships, traveling, partnerships, idea. So your relationships and your partnerships need, need a little bit of communication right now. You're definitely recognizing that, that you haven't been paying attention to fostering your friendships and your love. Let me clarify poverty, please. Not that you've been neglecting them. I mean, you have, but you've been busy. So today, your thoughts could turn to friends, past relationships. Ooh, look at that. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so poverty. You don't. You are not lacking. You are very, very abundant as long as you can stay in the positive energy and not go to that negative energy, okay?
five of pentacles, usually it's anxiety. Sometimes it's projecting fear. And then queen of wands, inspiration. So every time or any time you feel fear welling up inside of you, any time you get scared because of lack of, you talk about it, okay? Because Queen of Wands is the inspiration. She develops tools. She shares her story. She tells people, I was here. Now I'm here. I've come a long way, and you can too <laughs> for just $9.95. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> so you've managed to transform that fear by talking about it or by doing a little bit of traveling in your mind, in the physical reality, it's like you figured out every time you felt that energy coming up, you found a way to combat it. You've in fact developed tools. Okay, so it is your job to share this with other people. Marriage reversed. I beg your pardon. I never promised you rules, God. And now, that song popped into my head. I don't even really know the song. I know that one line, but this is, I never promised you a rose garden. Message of concern reversed and marriage reversed. It's like you've never promised to keep in touch. You've never... Uh, had any agreements with somebody to come and check on you. The reason why message of concern is reversed is because you're not getting contacted by family members or friends or relationships. Um, you're not contacting them. They're not contacting you. So in essence, nobody's checking up on you is what it feels like. You might have feel you might feel like you're left out in the cold. But you're not even going to trip. I just saw 7-Eleven. You're not even going to trip, okay? Uh, you may feel like the forgotten one. It's like you guys have history. You guys have a past. This can be your own children, or this can be in reference to your parents, you being the child of your parents. <coughs> so it's definitely in terms of familial relationships contract partnerships yeah so it's like your family members haven't checked on you in a while but you're not gonna sweat it Ooh. I was just gonna say clarify marriage yeah um, two of cups Venus in cancer love and romance hi how are you I've been missing you I love you so much hmm so it's like nobody's come to visit your house either. You guys don't have a stable foundation for a relationship. You may have when you were younger, but it, it appears to me that your relationship when you were younger seemed to be really, really controlled and that one or both of your parents had undue influence on you. And the reason why it's not really bothering you while they're not contacting you is because there, there's, I want to say, a lack of a relationship. You kind of feel left out in the cold here. This is left out in the cold. Like you were ignored, like you were forgotten. You dealt with it. You're taming your triggers that has anything to do with abandonment. So you may feel like you were abandoned or forgotten or neglected. Okay, nobody's calling you. Nobody's saying, no, nobody called to say they love you. Okay, sorry, I heard Stevie Wonder. And it's like you kind of don't have a, uh, what would you call it? A present relationship with this person. This person or people are in your past. You had a relationship with them in the past where you cared about what they thought. Um, 
you encountered each other a lot. This is love and romance, okay? This is like a actual care to where, I was going to say, to where you get love and care because I'm looking at the lotus flower on here that is blooming. Once upon a time, they were in charge of your care. And now it's no longer. So it's, it's almost like you guys don't even have an established communication, like a call every week, every month. Um, you don't talk to them for a while. Let's see, were they drawing my attention to the flowers? They were drawing my attention to the flowers in here, but not the roses. Is this cherry blossoms? Cherry blossoms. So what is that? Spring? Spring. Hold on. Okay, so with the flowers they keep <clears throat> directing my attention to, when do cherry blossoms bloom? Don't they grow in the cold in the winter or something? Or they start growing in the winter and they bloom in spring? Cherry blossom. So it feels like maybe while you were a teenager, when you were really, really young, you might have grown up with them until the point where you were a teenager and then there was some kind of separation. I'm hearing spring chicken. <laughs> Somebody's a spring chicken here. Um, forever young. I want to be forever young. So, because they knew you when you were young and, and at a juvenile age, it's like they have this forever image of you being that 16-year-old child. But your relationship is not over yet. Even though you guys aren't romancing each other, even though you don't keep in daily contact, um, you guys don't even keep in like monthly contact. This feels like um, holidays maybe. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, so it's like you've had a relationship in the past, but as of today, you guys don't have an established relationship. Um, you may have moved away from them or just circumstances. Um, hmm, I'm hearing I don't give a shit if they call or not. Hmm. So yeah, somebody's definitely not active in your life. It could be one of your parents, and I feel like it's the father, just because we have Saturn and nodal links. And also, too, a couple of the other readings I've been trying to do this morning. Um, the father kept coming out, so there may be an issue concerning the father okay and I don't have this here but I did get the casket card the beginnings and endings which would be the death card and actually I had the casket and I had the death card together in one reading so there's uh, something going on with somebody's parent some health issues possibly a death community official person and false person okay so community 39, this is the people who support you and nurture you, the people who rally to your aid. This can be crowdfunding. This can be just like the whole town saying, you know, we're behind you, go for it. And then official person would be a peace, a peace officer. I want to say police officer, but it's not necessarily so. It is a first responder, somebody in a uniform that has an announcement, a disclosure, a representative or official. And then we have false person. So this feels like somebody's 
using smoke and mirrors. Uh, there's some deception here. False person is, they're not sneaky, they're out in the open. Let me check in what the, uh, what the T-square for today is. Okay, so the T-square is Sun and Libra. S South node conjunct Saturn and North node in Saturn. Okay, so basically, Sun in Libra is reflecting on past relationships and partnerships, reflecting on past diplomacy. What else is Libra? Past harmony, past relationships, past promises, past contracts. This could have to do with um, government, a boss, a judge. This can actually be a boss or a judge too. Just because of the Taurus component, a boss or a judge. Community official person. What it looks like public speaking, a uh, public announcement. Um, what is it? Public, and this has been a, a public announcement brought to you by blank, blank, blank. And then false person would be the deceiver, the troublemaker. Lies. Somebody is, is this a politician? Okay, wait, help, clarify community. Because this feels like somebody's trying to tell lies. They're announcing something or disclosing something, and it's smoke and mirrors. Let's see. Clarify community, please. Clarify community, please. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> I am back. Okay, so we're clarifying community. I didn't finish clarifying it. Um, I had my daughter walk in, so clarify. Oh, oh look, they made me turn that over. Clarif clarify this crowd here. Disclosure, announcement, protection, the crowd, support, community support, false announcement. Four of Swords, seclusion, you want to get away your escape card. Queen of Swords, my divorcee, independent, does not need validation, independent thinker. This is the Libra season, and this is taking a vacation, getting away, meditating, staying calm. And then Mentor of Cups, nurturing, healing of our own feelings, learning not to own. What else? Receptivity and reflectiveness, sensuality and sharing, loving without owning, spiritual person with a sacred commitment to the sensual and the difference between enjoying the finer things in life and seeking into sybaritic access. Too much. Okay, let's see. It kind of feels like you don't want to deal with a lot of people and you also don't want to deal with okay I just got the word unconscionable um, you just don't want to deal with a lot of bullshit people a lot of people who are superficial I was gonna say artificial <laughs> but yeah you don't want to deal with any superficial or artificial intelligence hmm weird artificial would would seemingly be replacing 
human intelligence. Okay, why am I getting AI, artificial? I wanted to say superficial, but I'm getting artificial. Artificial intelligence, hold on. T-square, Sun and Libra, past relationships, daddy, father figure, authority, bottoming out, crowdsourcing, crowdsourcing, artificial intelligence, this false person could be artificial, and this could be artificial intelligence, releasing to the public, a partnership, there's something here guys, They told me artificial intelligence. Vacation, seclusion, calm, grounding. This is both Libra energy for meditation. Queen of Swords, independent thinker, dependence from vacation. Vacation free, they don't need to take vacation. So this is some kind of, this could be an announcement or a disclosure or a reveal of some new artificial intelligent, artificial intelligence um, technology. Sun and Libra. Past relationships, the father, sexless, I'm hearing sexless. Okay, sex robots, <laughs> I'm sorry guys, that, that's what they're telling me about artificial intelligence in partnership or relationships or as the sex bot. This could be an announcement about sex bots being funded or some shit like that. God, I'm sorry to even have to tell you that. Okay, so the father of... Hold on. Crowdsource, crowdfunding. Crowdsource, crowdfunding. Promise success in marriage and partnerships. So, where are we? What's in retrograde? We've got inner comfort. We've got Pluto, internal changes, internal death, internal death of the father. heart attack? Hold on, guys. I want to see something here. They're trying to tell me something. They're trying to channel me something, but hold on. Okay, so body parts effective would be back skin with the Libra energy. Kidneys, female organs, skin, lower back. Where am I? Buttocks, your butt. Adrenal glands. Lower back strain, particularly the lumbar, subject to kidney infections. Interaction, private interaction. Private interaction. Lower back strains. Wishes. Strains. Hold on, guys. Okay, so seclusion, vacation, escape, retreat, retreat, independence, an announcement about artificial intelligence, retreat. 
skin, back, buttock, female organs, kidney. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to hold on to that because they're trying to give me something here and I'm not quite getting it. Mentor of Cups. I think I've already read that. Um, let me see what it would be in relation to this. Too much. Oh! Sinking into sybaretic excess. The finer things in life and sybaretic excess. So there could be something about skin. The skin for artificial intelligence. Skin. Um, an announcement. Wait. Seclusion. Seclusion. We have isolated isolating the skin isolating the skin isolating skin lower back but <laughs> Isolating your ass. Just kidding. <laughs> um, it feels like isolating the skin or retreating the skin. Maybe there's been an advancement in the technology. For the skin of artificial intelligence. Too much. Too much. Not enough. It could be that there was something previously wrong with the skin. This could be in, in test trials, in clinical trials. Does it feel like real skin? Is it real? Does it feel enough like real skin? Or does it still feel fake? Hmm. Trying to work out what they're trying to tell me. Loving without owning. Sharing a design with the public. A design. Sharing a design with the public. Secluded design. Test trials. Designing the skin. Too much or not enough. Too much skin, not enough skin, um, sensory pleasure. Yeah, does it feel, I keep getting study and clinical trials, test trials. Does this skin feel real enough? Does this feel like a real person? And then we have these star card. Okay, so let me go over this again. What do we got? The main energies, Libra, of course. And Aquarius and water signs okay so Libra with the star Libra to Aquarius that would be Aquarius is the 11th house so Libra would be <coughs> the seventh house so seventh to the 11th that would be fifth house so this could be children artificial children possibly as Artificial children, artificial skin on children using artificial intelligence. Hmm, I'm trying to figure out what they're trying to tell me. The star is about hope and healing. It is also the 11th house of Aquarius. That's hopes, wishes, friends, social life, groups, and society. So, joining a group, replacing skin. So I want to clarify the mentor of cups. What exactly do we, what is with this artificial skin? <laughs> oh, look at that. Did you guys see that? Totally just flew. All right. And this one requires one of these. Let's see what this has to say. Cultivating joy. 
So, yeah, you could be growing skin for children, or there could be an announcement about artificial intelligence uh, and technology in skin grafts. I don't know why they're telling me that, but, you know. Okay, let's, where was I? Okay, first is first. <coughs> privileged lady, number 12, it's reversed. So when I get privileged lady, it's kind of like, to me, it's the daughter. I see Sagittarius when I see this. Young, impulsive. Yes, honey, my daughter's over here. She's pointing to herself, and I'm like, yep, reminds me of you. <laughs> Young, impulsive, ready to go, go, go. Okay, so it's also, this card reminds me of the daughter or the best friend. It's reversed, so it's, it's like not your daughter. <laughs> okay, so this could be artificial intelligence children. Hmm. Okay, I just heard GoBots. I know GoBots used to be a toy, but it's kind of like Go Fetch Bots in the form of children. Or woman, even the sexual robot says woman. There's something about the skin. There's um, some new technology on the skin or maybe the placement of the skin, the feel of the skin. Because Libra is about aesthetic, so it's got to look beautiful, it's got to feel beautiful, and it's got to... Um, there, there might have to have a fragrance to it. Maybe cherry blossom. Who knows? Anyways, star is about a wish coming true. And then we have privileged lady reverse, not the daughter. It's not your daughter. Message of concern, not being left out. Wait a minute. Previous relationships, not having an step. Oh, this can replace loved ones. Oh, so it's almost like having a clone, an artificial intelligence, uh, an artificially created intelligent being that looks real, smells real, uh, acts real. So I almost feel like this is therapy. This is going to be therapy, like artificial intelligence children for people who have issues, maybe training for responsibility of parenthood. I don't know why. I know that sounds really, really weird. <laughs> it really does. But over here, remember over here, you've got a past relationship, okay? You guys love each other. There's somebody here, a parent or a child that you are not really communicating with anymore. Um, it's not, it's like you've been forgotten or you've been neglected or you're just not important in their life enough for them to check up on you on a daily basis or even a weekly or monthly basis. You don't have an established rapport with them. So maybe this is, you know, this uh, artificial intelligence child that looks real and feels real. This is going to be a richly rewarding experience. Um, this is going to net some money too with sudden wealth. So it could be a debut of a lifelike child in order to train people to communicate with their children. Or this can be parent training, how to deal with a child when they're older. Or for parents who have, for, who have not had children for a while to get them back into being the parent to, for training, for training the parents. Guff on it. That's all I'm getting <laughs> for training the parents. So this feels like a new fad. Sudden wealth goals. Like they've been working on this for a long time to create a, ch a child or a female that's lifelike. So like what I'm kind of seeing is the child, a little girl or a little boy, that's artificial intelligence. So it's kind of like, remember in high school when they used to give you the fake babies, the one that cry, and you have to carry them around with you for like, I think it was a couple of days or for a week, and you had to partner up with uh, somebody in your uh, class to pretend like you were the parent. So you literally had to take it home, and it would scream in the middle of the night, just like a real baby. Okay, and Sudden Wealth, this is about a portal for goals to manifest in the physical reality. 
it's a seven 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 so it feels like a jackpot this can open up so many doors if we have artificial babies not only can they not be injured but there can be programming installed to see to track parents movements or potential parents movements this could be useful in the adoption community in foster parents community it can be used for training for this has so many behavioral slash health issues um this has so much promise um issues with uh intimacy period with people and this is for them to establish a rapport to establish a relationship to begin an everyday habit of caring for this person on a constant basis hmm interesting because there isn't any of that here and then here we have artificial intelligence that is made for that you were made for loving to be loved whether the, whether it's you I'm talking about or whether it's this artificial intelligence baby or toy or person And the thing is, what I'm kind of seeing, I know this is nutty. Um, I'm a nutball anyways. I, I don't, and you guys know that. Otherwise, uh, you wouldn't be watching if I wasn't. But I'm actually seeing, like, the artificial intelligence woman with the artificial intelligence. Oh, my God. The artificial intelligence baby inside the mother. So I'm wondering, is this going to be, like, the first artificial and oh god maybe they can make the mothers the the artificial intelligence woman maybe they can use that to grow babies as a uh, breeders um what would you call that um do you know do you know what i'm talking about can can you just see that an artificial intelligence woman with a fake wound everything's all real looks real now they can either put real babies in there but they're going to have to test it first so they got to test it with test babies but i'm wondering can an art uh, artificial human woman actually gestate a real human baby or in an even more stunning electrical technology um, electrical um even more stunning technology can it breathe the world's first born artificial intelligence born from artificial intelligence and not gestated in a human and vice versa hmm with the star card that's aquarius so yeah this could literally be technology wow when you wish upon a star <laughs> hi honey hi. <laughs> okay how only joyous and happy cultivating joy and it's a three you know what three means three means children <laughs> Okay, so you could literally be cultivating joy. How did that idea get in my head? And then, and then I actually pulled this. Um, yeah, I'm seeing like the gestating baby in in like a rubber um, in a rubber womb. Weird. Okay, my intention is to allow myself to feel joy and to cultivate habits that are enlivening, healthy, and inspiring. Joy is inspiring, life-giving, and deeply healing. To allow joy, it is essential that you nurture yourself, have healthy relationships, and cultivate forgiveness of yourself and others. It is also important to foster a connection with your inner child and your higher self. It is your birthright to feel joy and a gift back to your own soul and your loved ones to allow it. All right, guys, that's all I'm going to give you for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you. Take care.